Hello and welcome to Thought Provoking Tech. I'm Zach and in today's episode of Head to Head, I'm going to be testing Doom. So I'm going to be playing through about the first 10 minutes or so of Doom in each of these tests on each of the two paper space and the two liquid sky uh, machines to get a nice baseline. I'm going to be using fraps to capture the benchmarking uh, in the background so it'll capture the min and the maximum FPS as well as the average FPS as well as capturing the entire history of the FPS which I can chart out uh, so that we can kind of compare how these games perform. Uh, I will be starting from the, the beginning in each of these uh, episodes and I'll kind of start the benchmarking kind of right after when you actually start to first start moving around uh, so I have a nice start point. Uh, there will be some fluctuation in the actual game uh, due to the fact that, you know, it might take slightly longer to kill enemies in one playthrough or another. I might um, interact differently with the game, uh, but it should be fairly consistent overall. And even, you know, that it'll be a nice real world test because in a game, you're not going to have the exact same playthrough uh, every single time. And it should be within a very uh, close margin of error in uh, our performance test. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right to it. All right, so when I actually went to actually start testing uh, the first 10 to 15 minutes of Doom, the settings I used is I just used the high preset. So I didn't use all the way in ultra, but I didn't use the lowest settings. So I just used the high preset, a nice uh, middle grounds on Doom. Uh, and I did turn V-Sync off so I could get those maximum uh, FPS to just kind of see where the cards would go uh, in case several of the cards were kind of setting on that 60 FPS border. So you kind of see, you know, what card, the extra power, where it could have got, uh, you know, could have gotten you. All the services right now only stream at a maximum of 60 FPS. Uh, so at this point in time, there's no reason to get above 60 FPS. So you may as well go down to a uh, cheaper tier uh, if you're already kind of staying at, at or above that 60 FPS and the, the lower tier can run uh, the higher um, specs. So real quick, uh, outside of the, the stats of what we ran on, uh, here's a quick breakdown of the hardware if you haven't kind of followed along uh, with this head-to-head uh, -head series and we kind of just picking and choosing videos based on the games you're, and programs you might be interested in. Uh, I'll just do a quick breakdown of the hardware. Uh, Liquid Sky and Paper Space kind of set up their system a little bit differently. Uh, Liquid Sky, you're running on the same hardware. You just get more resources when you go to the higher tiers. Uh, so you run on the same uh, CPU and the same GPU, um, but you go from three virtual cores to six virtual cores, uh, six gigabytes of RAM to 12 gigabytes of RAM, and two uh, gigabytes of VRAM and four gigabytes of VRAM. After testing this, I can say that the gamer plan on Doom, at least on high settings, is not playable. Um, you might be able to set, turn the settings all the way down and possibly get an enjoyable experience, but I'd highly recommend uh, just playing on the pro uh, tier. That is one really good thing about the uh, Liquid Sky setting, how they have their set up, system set up though, is you can easily just switch between uh, the two systems because they are the same hardware, they're just giving you more resources when they're, you know, when you start up your system. Paper Space, on the other hand, uh, does things a little bit differently. Uh, you are running the, the uh, same CPU uh, clock frequencies uh, with the same amount, a number of V cores and the same uh, amount of RAM, but you're actually running on a completely different server uh, with the GPU Plus plan running on the NVIDIA Quadro M4000 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM and the Paper Space P5000 uh, plan running on the NVIDIA Quadro P5000 with 16 gigabytes of VRAM. So a pretty big step up there. You have the newer uh, generation of graphics cards. Uh, the other ones are all the, uh, the M series. Uh, so might see some benefits from that. Um, now I just want to run to the uh, complete FPS chart that I have here. I used fraps to collect this. Uh, the only thing is when you run, use fraps to collect a benchmark, it doesn't show it in the corner anymore, um, which I just like seeing so I can kind of get like instant feedback. Uh, but as you can see here, the gamer plan is uh, pretty much unplayable. The only time it spikes up is when there's like the cutscenes. Uh, and it was actually so slow as I was saying that it made the I couldn't didn't make it near as far in the game as I did uh, with the other series uh, the other uh, machines. 
all other three machines, I made it roughly to the same point. Uh, and it was all a very enjoyable experience. I can't say that I could really tell much of a difference uh, between the uh, three machines, except for the fact that I cranked the settings on the bandwidth all the way up on all four machines. And it looks like with Parsec, um, and I don't know if this has anything to do with paper space because Parsec is the one that's actually kind of handing the encoding and decoding. It looked like in the fast paced environment of Doom that Parsec had more clarity uh, with Liquid Sky, even when you're running really consistent on the GPU side and you know at or above 60 FPS, it had some like granularity in the video and I had turned it all the way up and I'm actually closer to the Liquid Sky server. Um, so I'm thinking that's just how they have their encoding uh, set up. Uh, and that might be something that can be improved in the future if it's just on the software side. But it did look like the 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 papers or the Parsec uh, client was a much more uh, more visually pleasing, even though they kind of had the same kind of average. I mean, you can see that the uh, P5000 series uh, did have some higher maximums, but honestly, um, they all the experiences were really enjoyable. And you know, for the price difference, you may as well play on the GPU plus play on the paper space side. So one thing I do want to point out though, is that Liquid Sky service, their GPUs are very, very consistent. And as you can see here, uh, you can kind of see they all drop down a little bit when they do the cutscenes. Uh, Cause I think, I think the cutscenes still kind of cap at 60 FPS. Um, and they, the GPUs can actually push out more than G 60 uh, FPS. Uh, but they are very consistent. You can see here that they're like just little bitty lines uh, whereas in the paper space GPUs, you have these big spikes. So uh, if that was, if these were, on, and on GPU plus plane, you do have some spikes down lower. So if you do want to have a consistent 60 FPS or above experience, you might want to just go ahead and jump to the P5000. Um, but I can't say that I really did notice these dips here as, as much um, because they're normally just real quick dips and right back up. Uh, in the next, you know, in the next frame, it went right back up. Um, so overall, very good experience. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, switch from this this chart, uh, and let's go ahead and pull up the kind of uh, min, max, and averages. So our summary chart here. All right. So on the summary side, uh, you can see that the Liquid Sky Gamer. Um, in this set of data, you have the minimum, uh, then you got the maximum uh, FPS here, and then you had your average here. So you can see that the average is actually really comparable between them. Uh, and I can say that all these experiences were very enjoyable. Uh, every one of these had averages above 60. Um, on the minimum side, you can see that the paper space GPU plus plan does get a little bit lower than the other two. Uh, the minimum, ironically, for um, both uh, Liquid Sky um, Pro and the P5000 is 57. Uh, FPS. I'm wondering if that is uh, the maximum that the an cutscene animations can go, um, that they kind of max, max out at 57. I'm not really sure, um, but it's kind of ironic because they both had um, uh, the same minimum. Um, and then uh, you can see that the maximums uh, were much higher on the paper space side, but the averages still ended up being pretty close. Uh, the P5000 did average about 10 or about 11 fps uh higher than if you could kind of take the average of these two uh about so a considerable jump up um but you do have those kind of spikes and uh once again you're only streaming at a maximum of 60 fps so there's no real reason uh that you really need this big uh boost um but if you are kind of tied into the paper space system then uh the paper space system did have some dips below 60 FPS, so you can kind of weigh if it's worth uh, that extra money to you. I personally wouldn't um, play this on the P5000 system. I would play it on my GPU Plus system, to be honest, uh, just my personal opinion, uh, because I really didn't notice those dips, um, but uh, that's just something you can kind of take uh, and take this data and choose to do with, with what you want. So uh, with that in mind, uh, this is just some footage I caught from the P5000 playthrough. Uh, so I'll just let that play while I'm kind of doing my wrap up. You can kind of see, uh, you can see this is very clear, very fluid. Uh, moving is 
fi perfectly fine. Uh, on the Liquid Sky, I should have caught the gameplay from that too, but there's glan uh, granularity every once in a while in, the, in this video, uh, in the streaming, uh, so it's like when you're moving quickly, uh, which you do a lot in Doom, uh, you it, it seemed like it couldn't, um, the encoding and decoding had issues with moving quickly. Um, so that's stuff that I'm gonna be testing on an ongoing basis. Uh, so my final verdict is I would recommend playing on paper space. Uh, the G GPU plus plan is my recommendation, but if you wanted the ultimate experience, then go with the P5000 uh, system or plan on uh, paper space. Kind of, I did a little bit of price breakdown. I'm gonna do a video dedicating the pricing, but the uh, GPU plus and the uh, Pro plan from Liquid Sky are pretty comparable. So the P5000 is a little bit more expensive and the GPU Plus plan is uh, quite a bit cheaper than the uh, alternative plans. Um, but once again, we saw that it completely failed here where the other ones did complete, you know, completely succeeded in my opinion. So if you are doing Liquid Sky, since you can switch between the two systems pretty easily, Doom is definitely a game I would highly recommend playing on the Pro plan and not even really considering playing on the Gamer plan. It does cost twice the uh, the credits um, versus the pro, pro plan, but it's well worth it. Um, so uh, that's kind of my verdict. I recommend the Paper Space in this instance, but if you're a fan of Liquid Sky and choose to go to the Liquid Sky route, I do recommend, uh, at least in Doom's uh, case, playing on the Pro tier. So uh, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you liked this video and you found it helpful or enjoyable, give it a big like. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Also, if you're not an already an existing subscriber, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we're starting to get a little bit of growth in the channel. That's really cool. Uh, just kind of a little hobby I'm doing and uh, seeing that we're over you know, 200 uh, subscribers now is really cool. Uh, just for something I'm just doing on a hobby. So I uh, thanks for every, all the existing subscribers. And uh, if you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay tuned for more great videos from Thought Provoking Tech. Uh, I'll be having more in this head-to-head -head series. Uh, if you do have any game requests, leave those in the comments below and I will um, look into adding those into my kind of uh, plan of videos that I have coming up. Uh, one final thing, check out the links in the description below. We're also on the banner that kind of rotates throughout this video. Uh, and that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, Zach out.